Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about using the timeline for paperless animation. So in Toon Boom, we usually do animation using the timeline. So that way you can time out your animation by selecting your drawing and going ahead and making the exposure longer or making the exposure smaller. There's a way to actually make your exposure longer by selecting your drawing and wait for the red square to show and then you can drag it and move it up to make the exposure longer. In the timeline you can go ahead and adjust your timing just by dragging it forward and backwards. As well you can go ahead and make a new drawing by hitting this button here and also go ahead and hold shift alt r. When you want to actually move your drawing around, you can hold your mouse over the line and move it forward or back using the red square, or you can go ahead and extend it using the yellow square. Now, if you want to see your drawing in the timeline, you can go ahead and hit this button here, and this will let you see the thumbnails of your drawing while you're drawing it. This way you can see your thumbnail at the bottom as well as see your drawing in the actual camera view. This way you can see your drawing in the timeline and go ahead and do your timing on it based off what you see in the drawings. This will become important when I start adding my sound and other elements in order to see what I have for timing my animation. You have the ability to have the option to hide your drawings or show your drawings. You have the ability to have something called solo view. You have your onion skin. You have a lock tool. And most importantly, you have the ability to go ahead and color your timeline. That way you can keep things organized. Also note this button will allow you to put your drawings in a mode called outline mode which will hide all the OpenGL texture vector and actually speed up for animation. If you just want to see a rough outline of your drawing, this will be a performance view enhancement if you want to see how things are done. You can use this tool if you have a lot of texture vectors or if you have a lot of um, rig and drawing performance that needs CPU. This will basically make it faster to render out your OpenGL view. So some settings that I use in the timeline is if I'm doing paperless animation is I try to make a zoom in a little bit and that way I can move the drawing uh, back and forth. Also I can go ahead and import audio if I need it. Up here in the plus menu is the ability to add different items like camera. You can go ahead and add your color card. Also you have the ability to make a group. Here in the timeline you have the ability to set your display. Also over here you'll notice that you can make a new drawing. And over here is the ability to make a peg. Now you can go ahead and name your drawing. You can go ahead and set the opacity. This makes it very convenient for paperless animation. This makes it very convenient for changing your opacity. And this makes it very convenient for changing your opacity. Over here you have the ability to set keyframes and if you double click, you can have your properties. And we'll talk about this part later. And now we're ready to set up for paperless animation. I can already start setting up to draw a character if I want. If I have my O button here, then it's very easy to go ahead and draw and sketch.
So I still have some shortcuts I need to set up for my keys, but you can see already that I can start doing paperless animation and then set up here with my timeline. Now, as I can start setting up my paperless animation So you see I can start working in paperless animation, but there's a few other things I want to show. But there are a few different things, but there's a few things that I want to show before I continue further. But there's a few other things that I wish to show in the timeline. If I have a character drawn, let me just sketch a quick character here. Okay, there you go. Okay, I'm just gonna sketch. Okay, let me sketch a quick character to show. Let's use this. So let's use this one for example for now. Let me sketch a quick example of a character. There we go. Okay, I made a quick sketch of a character just for example. So I have my tools over here that will help me uh, draw and animate and that I'm, and I'm not going to use those too much. And I'm not going to use those too much. I just want to sketch something out. There we go. But what I want to do is show the timeline and some things that I can do with it. So as I have my drawing here, let's say I want to do a quick animation with the eyes or the mouth. I can go ahead and do something called, I could do something called duplicate drawing, which will allow me to duplicate the drawing. And then here it makes a copy and a paste to easily do some quick animation on it. It's good to be loose and not be too perfect because you're just focusing on animation right now. So I'm going to go ahead and make another one. And this will be my in-between. Again, I can duplicate the drawing. Go ahead and just delete the inside of the face. Turn on my onion skin tool. And then very quickly, I can see where I want to do my in-between.
Now, if you're worried about something that is moving, such as the neck or the head, it's very easy to go ahead and clean that up. All you have to do is select the one that you like, copy it, and then you can go ahead and paste it. Just like so. And then you can go back and clean it up later. And also what helps if you want to do a nice head tilt You can select your drawing lines and move it to make a nice head tilt. And then here, of course, you would have to fix. Do not be afraid to break and refix drawings for your rough, okay? Because that will allow you to do the animation that you need. So over here, again, I'm going to redraw it because I want to have a better ponytail. And I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste using my timeline. So all you have to do is just work like this, test it, then you can go back and do ink and paint after you're satisfied with the result. And let's say you want to animate this part up here very easily. You can take it again. You can go ahead, cut it, and move it around as you feel in 3D space. So, let's go ahead and do some more. For timing, you can go ahead and slide it around. And you have additional tools, of course. For timing, I actually go ahead and use this style to get the drawings that I want. That way I can put it in keyframe. And then over here, and then over here I can set my length so that way I can play it.
So over here, these tools will help you do it. For these tools, for over here, Also, you have this tool for scrubbing if you want to scrub between your drawings very fast. And then you also have your tool for sound if you want to do sound design very fast. You can go ahead and add different things here. You can go ahead and use this menu if you want to go and import stuff. If you want to be minimal and hide all your tools on your tablet, then you have this toolbar here. If you want to be minimal and hide all your tools, you can use this menu here to do the toolbars, as well as right click and get the menu here. This will conclude the lesson for using the timeline. The next lesson that we will do is use the X sheet. Thank you and see you in the next lesson.